In the tomb so cold they laid him dead in switch and Sunday. A special welcome to all those who are visiting Cochin, for all those who are tourists. We will give you a warm welcome to the Cathedral of the Diocese of Cochin, the Santa Cruz Basilica. In today's celebration, after the introduction, the priest during the penitential act while I confess it's been said, would come and sprinkle the holy water as a sign of customary penitential rite during the Easter season. Let us begin the celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. Pause for a moment in silence. Easter is victory of sin. Sin is death. And as we pause for a moment, we ask for God's pardon and mercy. I confess. To Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Savior of our devotion, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Yeah. 
Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, we ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter opened his mouth and said, you yourselves know what happened throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, after the baptism that John proclaimed, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and caused him to appear not to all the people, but to us who had been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be the judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm, your response will be, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Please repeat. This, this is, is the, the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Give praise to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Your response? This, this is, is the day the Lord, Lord has made. made. Let, Let us, us rejoice in it and be glad. The Lord's hand is exalted. The Lord's right hand has done mighty deeds. I shall not die. I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Your response? This, this is, is the day the Lord, the Lord has made. made. Let, Let us, us rejoice in it and be glad. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, a marvel in our eyes. Your response? This, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. glad. Seek the things that are above where Christ is. The second reading. A reading from the from the Saint Paul from Saint Paul's epistle to the Colossians, chapter three, beginning verses one to four. Brethren, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set thy minds on the things that are above, not on the things that are below. For ye have died, and thy life is hidden with Christ in God, when Christ, who is thy life, appeareth. Then ye also shall appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.
sequence. <coughs> Christians to the Paschal lamb victim of offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the lamb and Christ the undefiled has sinners to his father reconciled. Death with life contended, combat strangely ended. Life's own champion, slain, yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say, what thou did see upon the way, the tomb the living did enclose, I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ my hope has risen, he goes before you into Galilee. Thus Christ is risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Please stand for the be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going towards the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying there, and the face cloth which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen clothes, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So now we know who went to the tomb. The repeated names would be Mary Magdala, Ananda Mary, and so on. The women went to the tomb. Today we can say that, that Jesus had a good fans association. The boys were missing. His disciples were sleeping. They thought it was another revolutionary leader failed. And all the four Gospels would remind us they didn't find anything. How do we end up a story? Like in Malayalam we have a lot of movies that is like we call award movies. That means we don't understand. Suddenly, end of the movie, a train is moving. 
and then film is over. Or then a person is walking into the tunnel and then a music movie is over. The same thing, all the four gospels telling that these women were there and they found nothing. And I am preaching that to you. Easter Sunday, tomb is empty. Pope Francis speaks about a fifth gospel. Fifth gospel is what theologians and historians would bring up. So they would study the historical environment when this event happened in Jerusalem. So Flavius and other Jewish historians would record this event, that a thing happened like this and people say that he has been resurrected and they have seen him. We hear this from the disciples to Emmaus. They also say this. So the fifth gospel, the church today studies about the historical environment, the geography of the place. So let's just go fast to a little bit of geography. Even the school is closed. Let's have a little history and geography on an Easter Sunday. Golgotha, as you know, it is an, was an abandoned place. It was only on one corner of the city to dump things. And in the first century itself, the Romans filled that disused quarry, rocky place. It was used as a quarry, it was disused. There they had Golgotha, they called it place of skulls, dumping all the bodies there. And they filled the place suddenly. Why? Why do revolutionaries in India burn our churches, burn our libraries? Why? To wipe out all the signs that people shouldn't go there. And this quarry was filled in with sand. And again, the Romans use their political power, they build a temple over that, a temple over that. I'm not mentioning the name of the God. It's not good to mention on a Easter Sunday. You can Google it later. And then again, after 300 years, the Edict of Milan in 1330 uh, uh, AD, there was freedom of religion. And we have learned in our catechism how Constantine came with a divine mission. So after Jesus' death and resurrection, 300 years of silence, persecution, marked with the blood of the first disciples. We find some beginning with the Edict of Milan by Constantine. Again, I'm going to fast forward. The Persians came. What did they do? They wiped out everything, even the Romans, in 1614 AD. And here begins also the birth of Islam. And soon in 1819, the king of Egypt, now a Muslim, would come and wipe out Jerusalem once more. We shouldn't forget the history. And then in Europe, by the help of Spain and Italy, from these two frontiers came the Christian warriors to take back Jerusalem. So it took almost 1,200 years to at least have some idea of the Jerusalem now we have. So, dear brothers and sisters, the fifth gospel reminds us the historical environment when the event of Jesus happened and how politically they wanted to wipe out Christianity. And what is the answer? Is Christianity wiped out? No. Christianity remains as a conscience of humanity. From the 12th century, you look forward, all the scientific advancements, 
all the literary works, everything is being restored and used for one purpose, that is peace. So, I am proud to be called a Catholic. Why? Because the same readings, the same message all over the world, in all the churches in the world, today's gospel would be, the tomb is empty. Non c'è nulla, nothing. And we shouldn't forget history. The persecution of our forefathers went on till the 12th century, which is continued even today. You know, it is the political season now. We have a nation that would disregard the Christian community completely. We still have documents of all those horrific th things happened in Orissa. Not thousands, more than 10,000 of people wiped out in this great nation where all the media is there. Nothing is known out. Recently in Manipur, the same condition, villages are wiped out only because they follow Jesus. And we are still here in Cochin, hearing some news and some vigil prayers and adoration we do. Dear brothers and sisters, this Easter Sunday is a wake-up call. Do not forget why you were baptized. You were baptized to be a testimony of hope and bring peace. Take the Christmas season. What is the message? Everything happens in darkness. There is a star lighting up and angels would sing. What they would sing? Any charismatic movement people here? Gloria in excelsis. Hallelujah. Here is born for you a savior. In nothing, in darkness, in nothing, here is God's only son. We thank Abba Father for giving his only son. That too in darkness, outside the city, insignificant, no power, no one to take care. A complete aloneness, a dark night. And we sing joyfully, silent night. Actually, you should cry. We all should cry. But automatically, we do not know. We are happy, silent night. Aha. Mother Mary is alone, so nice. Everything is dark, so nice. There is no chicken soup, wow, good. No one to take care, good. Even who came, shepherds came. We can't even take care of our pets and clean them up. Then you just think about how does it look to be with goats and buffaloes or whatever animals we have. And Easter also is in darkness. So it is the triumph of light over darkness. The message is so clear. In complete abandonness, aloneness, in that stillness, in darkness, there is light. And this is something where the material is being won. That is, death has nothing to do. Death stops there with the resurrection. Such a powerful message of resurrection. Dear brothers and sisters, let us move forward with hope. When we recite today, today we will not recite. I would ask you questions like in an exam. Do you believe in Jesus? Then what would you say? Yes. We profess our faith on Easter Sunday where the priest the celebrant would ask you questions. So we should have the courage to renew our baptism, to profess faith even in this nation where everything is covered up, where everything is private, everything is in darkness. Do not be afraid because Christ is among us. So let us raise to a new being in this Easter Sunday we can find in Jesus the real marks of suffering. 
we can see he touched and felt it would be funny you would listen to the readings even after few days jesus cooked fish and bread because peter thought now everything is over they have seen jesus some say i am going fishing god through jesus entrusted said peter himself would go for fishing after three days and again we find jesus like a mother waiting on the seashore and asking children did you get anything and peter would say nothing nothing dear brothers and sisters christianity is not psychology it's not a motivational class it is not on leadership it is such a hope it is not some magic it is about a real person who lived and historically recorded there is no other record more than the records of history in the world written and proved and we should be proud today on this easter sunday to call ourselves christians never allow darkness to conquer us and you are not alone you have been seen by god and here is a god even after resurrection the new body is not atma spirit as in indian spirituality or in the greek thing the body and soul body is like a cage and soul is locked up two different things no for us christianity this body is good god made us this body so beautiful and would retain it so we are not prisoners of this body but god loved us completely and we will be resurrected one day as jesus and the marks of suffering was there and he touched he allowed st thomas to come touch my marks and believe and st thomas would make that leap of faith and reach out to asia and we call ourselves the apostolic church because st thomas came to kerala that is what we believe am i telling lies no so this is not a story this is an event that happened and continues to influence the world christianity pope francis says is not a place for social work that we have some hospitals we give food for the poor it is not something to do discipline yourself there is no private spirituality these are the harmful things that would we see today and in this easter sunday the church invites us to begin from washing the feet then breaking the bread climbing up the cross and telling to the world father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and this brings hope and joy so this is my wish for you easter is victory of sin do not forget that and victory of death and i wish you life in abundance let us die in christ so that we live forever in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. let us stand and we renew our baptism dear brothers and sisters through the paschal mystery we have been buried with christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life also now that our lenten observance is concluded let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced satan and his works and promised to serve god in the holy catholic church and so i ask you do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of god i do do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you i do do you renounce satan the author of prince of sin i do i do do you believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i do 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Prayer of the faithful, dear brothers and sisters, God the Father allowed his son to suffer and die on the cross. He did not allow him to remain in the tomb, but raised him to a glorious life. The disciples who went to the tomb early on Sunday morning could only find the tomb empty. Placing our trust in the risen Lord, let us place our petitions before him. Your response will be, Lord, make us your messengers. Lord, Lord make us, make your, us messengers. your messengers. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that in their pastoral care of souls, they may experience the power of the risen Christ and bear witness in his life and love. Your response? Lord, Lord make, make us your, your messengers. messengers. For people who experience difficulties in life due to, due to sickness, loss of employment, or financial problems, that they may not lose hope, but trusting in the Lord may move on with their lives, we pray. Lord, Lord make us your messengers. For peace in the world, that Christian writers, editors, and publishers may disseminate the message of Christ, who despite being oppressed, opposed, went ahead and accomplished his mission, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us your messengers. messengers. For the correct use of the means of communication, such as internet and social media platforms, that these immensely popular means of communication may be considered as gifts from God and used to build solidarity and communion among people, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us your messengers. messengers. For all of us present for this solemn celebration of Easter, that the risen Lord may provide the spiritual energy necessary to live our faith with sincerity of mind and heart, we pray. Lord, make us your messengers. Please pray for now. God, our Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, whom you have given us as our risen Lord. His glorification is a reward for the work of redemption he has carried out in accordance with your will. Grant us a grace that we too may become living witness of the risen Lord. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Trumpets and the angels sing The feast is ready to begin The gates of heaven are open wide And Jesus welcomes you inside Tables are laden with good things Oh, taste the peace that joy he brings He'll fill you up with love divine He'll turn your and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be 
acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, with Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Announcements. Palm Sunday's love offering, 50,859. The amount that we collected from the veneration of cross, rupees 50, 57,000. 184. This would be sent to Rome for the peace work in Jerusalem. From April 1st, that is tomorrow, we have the preparation for the First Holy Communion. So all those who have enrolled your name, please come for the 7 a.m. Mass followed by the Catechism. Wishing you again this week, we are again in the Easter Vigil. To all your families and dear ones, that Easter is the time we profess our faith. That is, darkness has no place in our life. Light will win. And in this hope, let us move forward. And for all those who are visiting Cochin, this is what we call the real Kochi. And I'm proud to be part of here, where we find a lot of cultures came. It is called the melting pot of cultures. We have gone to the, uh, the place on Matanjeri, the Jewish town, this Fort Cochin area. It's a melting place of cultures and you can enjoy the food, the loving people and also it is little warm, be careful, have some sunscreen double protection and enjoy this Easter. I know that you are away from your family but this is your family as a church. Wherever you go to a Catholic church, that is your family. So, Buona Pasqua and God bless you. Let us stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life, the resurrection of his only begotten, endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. And now, now the days of the Lord's passion have drawn close. May you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain for you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Yeah. 